Welcome back to another episode of The Fabienne Show, where we explore the idea of having it all, whatever all means to you, and increasing the quality of your life, your business, your financial abundance, your freedom, your fulfillment. Part of what I've really taken to heart over all of these years of working on my own personal development, my own professional development, is this idea that we train people how to treat us. We are directly responsible for everything in our lives. This sense of personal responsibility is something that I've not only lived by, but taught my children from the day they were little and have been using as a concept with tens of thousands of clients, customers, and people who have worked with me in my business coaching programs over the years. This idea that I teach people how to treat me based on my standards, based on what my expectations are, not just from them, but for myself, from myself. This is what I want to talk about today with you in this episode is this concept of raising your personal standards, raising your professional standards, raising the standards that you have for yourself as a means to increasing the quality of every aspect of your life. And so in this, and I wrote about this in my first book, Embrace Your Magnificence, about the idea of raising your standards of what you find acceptable and not acceptable for how people treat you, both professionally and personally. Let me give you some examples so that I can put it into context for you. If in your work, you are, let's say, working evenings and weekends and are never able to really take an unplugged vacation because there are just so many things to take care of, I want you to look at how perhaps your standards have been lower than you would expect. One example could be that a client is expecting too much of you, calling you on evenings and weekends or expecting work that you are not getting paid for. There is room here for you to raise your standards and say, it is not acceptable for me to work evenings and weekends or to have clients who expect work that I'm not paid for. Perhaps it's in your personal life where you could say to yourself, why am I, you know, the only one cleaning up the dishes after dinner? Why am I doing the laundry for my teenage children? Why am I the only one doing X, Y, Z? This is an opportunity for you to raise your standards. If we're going back to the work example, why are my clients or even team members treating me disrespectfully or not finishing things, or why am I not getting paid on time and accepting it? I heard somebody say to me a very long time ago, we have what we settle for. When I first heard that in my 20s, I was like, ouch, we have what we settle for. I'd like to translate that or speak about it in a different way in saying we have whatever we have in our life, based on what our standards are. I know that in my early relationships, before I met Derek, who I've been married to for 22 years, I love my relationship with Derek. Before that, I was in several relationships that, if I look back at it now, I had very low standards. I allowed them to treat me this way. I allowed them to cheat on me. I allowed them to be either mentally or physically abusive. I know how harsh that can sound, but I knew before getting into those relationships that they weren't going to be good for me. And I still did it. Have you ever had a client where you knew they were going to be, we'll say high maintenance, and yet you still Still got into it because of the money or just because you thought you should is because they wanted to work with you. When we have lower standards, we don't speak up about something in our life. When we have lower standards, we allow people to do things to us or to expect things from us that are frankly should be unacceptable. 
So this is what I want to unpack and unravel with you today is looking at all of the ways that you could raise your standards. This is something that we do in my work with very highly successful female entrepreneurs, multiple six figures, seven figures, multiple seven figures. It looks like they have it all together on the outside, but maybe they're working 20 hours a day, only sleeping four hours a night. They're exhausted. Why? Because they haven't raised their standards with their team. They haven't raised their standards with their clients. They're not charging enough. They're not taking up more space. They end up doing everything themselves. When somebody says jump, they say how high, as opposed to raising their standards and setting better boundaries. They can also, these same women, not have high enough standards in their personal life where they're still doing everything at home instead of having a daily housekeeper or having a personal assistant. I know these sound like champagne problems, as we like to say in my family, but I'm here to say that in just about every area of your life that isn't working enough for you, it is likely that your standards are not high enough. This is a game I've been playing for with myself for 25 years in this personal development journey that I've walked through, even in my business. And so as you listen to this episode today, I want you to start thinking about any area of your life where you're like, is this all there is? Would you have intended your current situation if you were, you know, just drawing a wish list for your life? If any area of your life isn't working, it's probably because you have lowered your standards and you are accepting something that is frankly unacceptable for someone who wants to be fulfilled and have a life of pleasure and meaning and, you know, just a delicious life, an abundant business. So let's look at some of these different areas and investigate where you may have lowered your standards. Let's start with perhaps your self-care. Self-care can seem like a really soft topic, but for a busy woman like you who has a dream of a good life, a dream of an abundant business, where are you not giving yourself time for self-care? Where are you putting the needs of everybody else above yourself? Where are you putting yourself last on the priorities list? Is there a chance that you could raise your standards on how much time for self-care you give to yourself? Setting boundaries, making sure that you have your 15 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes, an hour just to yourself, perhaps to meditate, to work out, to read. What about investing in your mental and physical well-being. Do you have high standards with that? Do you prioritize that? Or do you have lower standards with that? What about, I mean, just even like your food, are you eating food that is filled with nutrition or are you just grabbing? I'm not making you wrong here. Listen, I've been there. This is something that I explore with myself all the time. Or are you, you know, having food and drink that are not healthy for you? Could you raise your standards there and say, it is unacceptable for me to eat nutrition deficient food. I'm making it up as I'm talking to you here in the sense that this can show up in every area of your life. What about with your family? Are there some people in your life that treat you like a servant, that treat you like the chauffeur and the cleaner and the cook and, you know, expect all these things from you? but you don't get anything in return. Raise your standards for yourself. It is unacceptable for me to do everything at home. It is unacceptable for me to, after having bought the groceries, prepared the dinner, set the table, it is unacceptable for me to then clean up everything. Really looking at all of the areas where if you were to rank them on a scale of one to 10, if they are below an eight, This is an area in your life 
that I would invite you to investigate and raise your standards. It starts with an exploration by yourself. You can journal about this as you are listening to this episode or after something for you to think about in the coming days. This is what I do with our business clients at Bold Heart. You would not imagine how much this comes into play in increasing the abundance in your life, increasing your time off. But it's also something that I talk about with the people, the women who come to my A Delicious Life retreats in Provence or who work with me privately to increase their life and their business and their freedom. We look at raising your standards in every area of your life. It's a conversation you have with yourself before you go out there and talk to people. So let's talk about client relationships. Are there clients who treat you poorly? I worked with this one woman in a half day VIP day recently, and her clients were treating her like garbage. She allowed it because she just thought that That's how it works, that the person who is being hired as the consultant doesn't get to speak up. I disagreed with her about that. I said, it's time for you to look at what's no longer acceptable and then set a boundary. In my book, Embrace Your Magnificence, there is a list of things that seem kind of egregious. Like it is not acceptable to yell at me. It is not acceptable to lie to me. It is not acceptable to cheat on me. It is not acceptable to hit me. I know that sounds crazy that you would have to put that on paper as a list of standards for yourself, but most people never think about it. And therefore they walk throughout life and allow other people to treat them poorly. In business, it is not acceptable for a client to no show and expect to have, let's say, me show up every time and not get paid. It is not acceptable for me to not be paid. It is not acceptable for me to be paid late. It is not acceptable. You see where we can go with this? If we were to look at every area of your life that isn't working, there are things that are not acceptable, but we just haven't voiced them. We haven't raised our own standards to say, hey, this is not okay with your team. Maybe your team is just letting things fall through the cracks. Is that acceptable to you? You don't have to be a jerk about it, but you this is an opportunity for you to say, is this acceptable or not acceptable? If it's not acceptable, we raise our standards. I believe that we have to write these things down. Is it acceptable for a team member to be late on projects without communication? Is it acceptable? We've had things like crazy things happen where a long time ago, somebody was working on Facebook ads for us just to get the word out there about a a particular promotion we were doing. And just to make the numbers look better, he started spending our ads dollars in places and with people who were not our target audience at all just to make the numbers look good. That was unacceptable. Unacceptable. Therefore, that person was no longer with us. I wonder how much you're shouldering yourself, how much you're working on evenings and weekends and never really taking a fully unplugged vacation because your standards have not been raised. I wonder if you would be happier at home in your partnership with your kids if you, you know, would you be happier if you raised some of your standards? So this is some of the things that we're going to talk about in the membership program that I'm launching in the fall. I'll tell you more about it over the course of the next couple of months. But the idea is that we look at making everything in your life better because you deserve it. Why do you deserve it? Because you're a human being right? Because you deserve to have a more delicious life, more time off, more time to, dare I say, luxuriate, enjoy your life, have more pleasure in your life, have more abundance in your life. You don't have to be the one accepting non-acceptable things, (laughs) if I can just say it that way. So I want you to start setting a higher standard for everything in your life. And 
not from an arrogant place, not from a place of being entitled because that doesn't work in your relationships, but just expecting more for yourself and even expecting more of yourself. Is the work that you're delivering to your client, would you call that like world class, like top notch? If not, expect more of yourself in the sense of raise your standard. Do you need to go take a course to learn how to do something? Do you need to work with a business coach to upgrade your team, upgrade your offerings, upgrade your pricing, upgrade your really everything about your business? Do you, is it time to increase your standards around your team, the accountability, the responsibility that your team members take? Is it time to increase the way that they respect you as opposed to you working for your team as opposed to it being the other way around? Is it time personally to raise your standards with your partner in life? Is there a way that you are shouldering everything? Raise your standards. Is there a way that there are red flags? Raise your standards. A long time ago, we created a list for, let me backtrack. So we have a house in Provence and all this summer, we've just, it's been like a revolving door of guests. And what I learned when we used to buy uh, rent seasonally in Vermont for a ski house is that guests didn't actually know what to do. So they did not that much. When I raised my standards as a person who hosts people, it actually wrote down in a friendly manner, hey, this is how you could be a great guest. In, at our ski house, it was like, every time you come in the door, bring a couple logs in. If you see that the wine supply is empty, you know, the, the store is two miles away. If you want to cook one night and at the end of your stay, please do rip off your sheets off the bed and put them on the floor next to the washing machine. We'll take care of it after that. Perhaps you don't know, but one of Fabienne's least favorite things to do is empty the dishwasher several times a day. If you see it full and clean, feel free to empty it and fill it back. I raised my standards at that ski house. And now we've done the same thing in Provence. If you want to, you know, go to the store and buy some food, or if you go to the market, grab a case of peaches. If you see that the rosé wine is low in supply, go ahead, do the things. By raising my standards, I realize that I am less resentful when we have a house full of people after a week, without raised standards, I would feel depleted once they left. But by asking, by raising my expectations, and by communicating these with my guests, we are able to have people all summer long because I've taken personal responsibility for my own happiness. These are just some examples of raising your standards. Are you working, delivering great results for clients and customers, but you're not paying yourself or not paying yourself enough? On the outside, it looks like you have it all, but you're overworking and underpaying yourself. We got to raise our standards here. Do you see where I'm going with this? This is an opportunity for you to respect yourself. I've had friends in the past, long time ago, where I think I might have even talked about this in my book as well, where sometimes they were 45 minutes late and I would come in from Connecticut to New York. It would take me 45 minutes to an hour to get to our lunch appointment. They lived just a few blocks away and they were 45 minutes late. That I accepted that for years, just thinking, oh, that's just the way she is. At a certain time, I raised my standards and I said, it is unacceptable for me to wait at this restaurant or this cafe for 45 minutes. And I shared that with that person. You know, she was defensive, but we're no longer friends because I hold myself to a higher standard in my relationships. I give a lot, but like, you know, don't mistreat me kind of thing. So if any of this resonates with you, I just want to say it doesn't have to be this way. Perhaps you'll jump into my membership when I launch it in the fall to where we reclaim your life. Have you be 
the woman you've always wanted to be. Have a life that you are proud of. Do things that matter because you've taken responsibility and raised your standards. This is a worthwhile exploration. I hope this got you thinking today. You are in my heart. I'm thinking of you. I am expecting better things for you. You are made for more. You can have it all. Whatever all means to you, I'm here to have you accomplish that. Lots of love.